Hello everybody and hope you're all doing well. Hopefully this is at a proper sound level that you can all hear. So, this is my second attempt at tie-dye. Um, the first time was rather successful, so I felt confident to doing it again. So this time around, I tried four dollars and fifty cents castle craft kit from the dollar store and I also went on Amazon and I bought this Limino tie-dye kit 18 color set 160 milliliter bottles um, each just to kind of give you an idea, I didn't use this one yet. That compared to the dollar store bottle scenario. So, I processed four shirts. Uh, I left them for up to... Um, let's say I think probably about 14 hours and uh, let's uh, look at the uh, both positive and negative results of the experiment so far so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring out the three shirts I did with this and we're gonna see if this is worth the money to buy to use for tie-dye or if it's a waste of time and money and resources depending on where you are. This claims to be a kid's kit, non-toxic, 12 colors, 12 tubes, 35 millimeters each, gloves, elastics, instructions, Let's just say so far, eh. So I'll be right back. The shirts are still wet because I'm probably going to have to, well, you'll see. So first one up here we have, this was supposed to be a cross pattern. And this was supposed to have all blue through it. And as you can see here, there's even, there's even barely a sign of a cross going right here. I washed this through the washing machine and only did it on like a four minute cycle and as you can see there's absolutely no colors to it and that's again with the dollar store kit let's move on to the second one This one, we got a little bit more success, though you can't see it because of the bright light. Let me actually turn the light off. Again, the cheap dollar store. You're sensing the process so far. Now let me be back with the third one. So this one is the last one out of the dollar store kit 
and it's probably the one that has the closest bit of success to it. And I'm using that very, very loosely because as you can see, not that successful. Mm -hmm. But it's the best of the three. And was again supposed to be a swirl pattern. The very first one I showed you was actually supposed to be a cross pattern. Didn't work as you can see. So now this one again is done with the $24 Limiton kit from Amazon. And you can see a substantial difference in this t-shirt versus the other one. Now, should I go back in and, and touch this one up? Maybe, which is another reason why I'm kind of showing these off while they're still wet, because I might reprocess them and use the better die kit on the, um, on the other ones to fix them up while they're not totally wrung out and then re did them again. So let me go put this one back. This one turned out the best. This was supposed to be a geode style. And as you can see, some colors came through. Others did not. But this is supposed to be black with gray. And there's supposed to be a bit of purple, which kind of came out into like pink so again I'm probably going to go in and touch these up and uh, yeah so let me go put this one back and I'll uh, come back and talk about them a bit more so back to this quick video so as you can see is the dollar store tie-dye kit worth it no big fail uh, again the only thing that's probably worth it is the even the little bottles that you get are garbage the only thing that's probably worth it out of this, the little instruction pamphlet. That's about it. Even the rubber bands are kind of, yeah. So, Avoid this kit. Again, uh, Castle Craft from Dollarama. Uh, don't know if they're any better in the U.S. than they are up here in Canada, but for Canada-wise, bleh. Avoid them. Uh, unless you want to, you know, have it be something cool for your kids. But as I've showed you, the color is not going to sit unless you maybe let it sit for around three days, if that. And I even used a little bit of soda ash in the uh, soaking the shirts before I did them this time around. I didn't do a full package of it, but I did about a quarter package, which, as you've seen on the second shirt, with the... Um, Better 
Lamino kit, which also um, has some kind of things on it as well, too. So that's probably your best bet there. Uh, shows you some things like that. Folds, stripes, bullseye. Uh, Homer Simpson donuts, <laughs> polka dots. So if you're even going to uh, be able to bother to attempt to do tie-dye, you know, for shits and giggles or whatever, buy one of these higher tier kits from uh, from Amazon. Because the better quality dye, as you've seen by the last shirt I showed, which was done mostly with this, is better quality and worth the time and effort to do it. So, with that said, I will uh, end this video for now. Again, thank you for watching. Please like, follow, and share. <laughs> and again, to help my channel the most, please go back and watch from my over 2,000 plus backlog of videos to get my viewing time up. That is the most important thing that I need to um, ask people for money less. If, if and when I do ask people for money, uh, which I don't because I don't believe in e-begging, uh, but I do welcome people that want to donate to the channel, um, you know, for something on it or maybe they have an interest maybe you have an interest in a tie-dye shirt or uh you know maybe a painting since i am doing kind of painting things uh you know again you can donate and put towards that and uh maybe we can arrange something uh, either way you know as the saying goes you scratch my back i scratch yours simple as that no bullshit no other games, uh, you know, no begging of a true sense. Just general honesty. That said, hope you have all been well. Again, I hope you have enjoyed watching this video with my deep dive into the uh, do's and don'ts and good or good and bad of tie-dye. Uh, with that said, um, bye for now. Hope you all have a safe and cool August. See you later.